I got brides in Atlanta, just to the in the family, credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the band, legacies. I want to welcome you back to Black Side. I want to talk to you about the new Harriet Tubman movie, who is directed by Kelsey Lemons, who directed Black Nativity and also Ease Bayou and Cynthia Rebo, a 980OS actress. This movie is supposed to be a biographical movie about one of the greatest black women ever to walk the face of this earth, Harriet Tubman. But I read a lot of reviews from the New York Times and other organizations, and they seem to make this movie into a suspenseful action movie in which Harriet Tubman is somewhere out in an action movie saving slaves. And it was a very much a disgrace to read some of these reviews. But what really got to me in reading these reviews, it was something that I thought I would never see in a movie of this nature. The villain of this movie was a black bounty hunter named Bigger Long, played by a young man named Omar J. Dorsey. And I'm wondering, how the hell can a black man be the villain in Harriet Tubman? When you had white slave catchers running around the South and the North during that period of time, trying to recapture slaves and bring them back South. But you find out that people like Kelsey Lemons, Cynthia Rebel, they try and make white people not feel uncomfortable. They try and make white people feel pretty good about themselves. So if you leave, the movie about Harriet Tubman, and you go see it, and you probably a white progressive or liberal conservative, you would go home saying, well, they had a black bounty hunter. Well, maybe we didn't do so bad when it came to slavery. And this is why this movie was so dangerous that we had Kelsey Lemons and Cynthia Rebo doing this because they would not make the perfect picture, the point, and show the hatred that white people had for ADOS during that period of time. This movie had to be a graphic movie to show you the true light on slavery. Not to be a puff piece about Harriet Tubman. Then put the black man, the black man who was sold as a slave right pillage, took everything from it and make him the villain. This shows you the reason why this movie was given the money to be made. This movie wouldn't have been made if it wasn't big or long as the villain. Who would make that movie? Who would do this? In a movie that's portraying one of our greatest heroes. <coughs> that a black man was the one chasing her down, trying to stop her and her family, friends and people she met along the way for having freedom. This is an outrage. And it should be an outrage to every ADOS member across this country because this should not have happened but you know why it happened they don't give you money to make themselves look bad you think that they would have gave them millions of dollars to make this movie that the black man wasn't perceived as the villain in the movie of Harriet Tubman it would not have happened But this shows you what happens when you don't have ADOS making these movies. This movie would have been done better by someone like a Spike Lee. Any of these other African American directors who have a true sense of our history and what's going on in black America. 
but I just can't get over Bigger Long, the black bounty hunter, being the man that everybody is supposed to hate in the movie. During the period of time when this white man had millions of black people in slavery, he gets a pass in this movie. This is the worst type of propaganda that you could ever have in a historical biographical movie in which most people won't even go read the book or read excerpts of the book. They will take this movie and run with it and love it. Tell their friends. You should have saw the Black Bounty Hunter. We weren't so bad. Maybe we shouldn't pay reparations. When you have wrong people doing your movies, that's extremely dangerous. That's why when you have great Holocaust movies, their best directors do them. Steven Spielberg. He gives you an authentic look at the Holocaust and puts it in his perspective from a Jewish point of view. This is not from an ADOS point of view. And he shows you the true evil of what happened in Germany. He doesn't cover it up by saying it was a Jewish guy persecuting other Jews. This is absolutely terrible. But this movie is made to make, again, white people comfortable. I don't want to offend white people in this movie. This is the Cynthia Arebo and many of these other actors who come from overseas who have no respect for ADOS, who call us names on Twitter and Instagram. But these are the people making movies about us and our historical family members. I'm extremely angry about this. And you should be too. The black man is an enemy in everything. And we got our own portraying him the enemy in a time in which we had nothing, received nothing, had no rights. But in this damn movie, he the villain of all villains. And we know damn well that white man was doing everything possible as the true villain. This is shameful. And many of you should rebuke this movie and not go see it. We don't support nonsense. I want to thank you for listening to the Black Site. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and share this video.